So this is the legendary secret cellar. The cellar continues on behind these bars. I can't see anything, but I bet that the book's in there somewhere. Yeah. Probably. I don't think I pronounce it correctly. Sorry. I don't know. Um... Look at the junk. The sad remains of extinct cultures, and of the last camping trip. Down here. I can't discover sure. anything of interest amongst this junk. Okay. A staff, uh, approximately staff. two meters long, with a top made of bronze. Looks like something's missing there. Hmm. This picture seems to indicate that a ruby belongs in there. Uh-huh. A small circular opening in the ground. It's decorated with an ancient script, just like the picture on the wall. Picture? Oh. A picture on a stone slab. It depicts a man in a robe with a staff in his hand. A jewel is glinting in the headpiece of the staff. Some sort of light beam shining on it. So yes, we need that uh, glass eye in the room above, I think. A small fat figure. She's holding a mirror above her head. Looks ancient. Uh -huh. A small fat figure. Yes. Uh... Guess even a secret cellar is in the end just a cellar, and all cellars have gardening tools such as these gardening shears. Take it. As long as I'm not expected to do the gardening now. Strong iron bars without a door or lock. Behind it is a dark room. I somehow have to open the bars. No chance. There has to be a secret mechanism to open the bars. Yep. Hmm. There are three carved figures by the bars. Each one of them has a different precious stone. This one here has a blue sapphire in its head. The spider has an emerald on its back. Green. This figure looks a bit like a dog. One of its eyes is a large ruby. Uh -huh. Can we take this it? This figure looks a bit like a dog. Nope. I think I'd better take the staff with me. It might come in handy elsewhere. Yes, because it's long and we could get this window outside open or whatever. Maybe something with this? Nope. But here. The window's open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. Okay. The window's open. The last rays of sunlight can enter the house. Nice. Uh... I don't yeah. believe it. Now I've ended up doing the gardening. Yeah. It is indeed a gravestone. A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. Kinski? A little gravestone made of granite that's got Kinski inscribed on it. Yeah. Why? A little gra yes. I got it. Okay. Let's head back home. Her uh, inside, I mean. We need something to reflect. Some things here. The small amounts of light from outside are somehow gathered in this box and exit as a light beam from the glass eye. Huh, not bad. Presumably gnome technology. Yeah. Hmm, 
That explains why the mirror was hanging there. It was there to reflect the light. I must find a replacement. Can't you just break some of this shards and... Nope, probably not. So what do we use? Uh, no. Oh, here's something. Yep, that's a good thing. A small old-fashioned shield. The inside is highly polished. Take it. And put it there. Perfect. The shield's reflecting the light beam down into the cellar. Yep, what did I say? Well, what must we do? It wasn't difficult at all. So, it's okay. Um, can we turn The light it beam is reflected by the little figure's mirror. Oh, yes. Then put it into the... whatever that is. And turn it. Hmm, there are strange marks on the figure's pedestal. Looks like the figure may have been turned. I've got to try and yes. turn it back to its original position. Good idea. Do it. A little more. And a little more. Oh. Crap. <laughs> it's missing something. Shit. No. Crap. Eh. Uh. Huh? No, no, no. Uh. I think I'd One better more take time. a shot. Yes, go up again. And. Can we just. Take this thing? Huh. Not? Hmm. The shield reflects the light beam into the cellar. Yes, but... A wooden tub, about half full of water. Oh, great. Uh, something about this mummy still seems strange. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Ah, now we can talk to him. I'm not Mortimer, can I will you say see this that? one more time. I'm not Mortimer. Of course not, if you say so. Mortimer has been kidnapped, and I wanted to rescue him. I guess... That's... that's terrible. You'll have to hide. Me? Why? They want to kidnap you. That's already happened. <laughs> it's, Mortimer. it's Mortimer. Mortimer has already been kidnapped. But that's impossible. Who is talking to me at night, then? Mortimer is your friend, is he not? Did he, um... Uh excavate you? You could say that. I was lying in the dark for quite some time. Then the lid opened and Mortimer was there. I've been with him ever since. Well, as things look right now, Mortimer's not going to be here to chat for some time. We do not chat. We discuss. We deliberate. We debate. We chat. But we would never go skiing. Uh, Why? Do you really want to go skiing? I don't want to go skiing. Hmm, what is skiing? No what? idea. Uh, who are you? Do you have an accident in a bandage factory? No, I'm a mummy. Don't mummies have their brains pulled out via their noses during the mummification yes. process? I don't think so. I but do. I do. <laughs> Just how do you open the bars how down exactly the, the iron bars in the Yeah, I already open? know that, I think. 
Hey, I'm talking to you. Yeah, but you? he doesn't know, so you let's can continue. speak. What you know what? Forget it. I'll work it out for myself. I'd rather I search through every nook yes. and cranny of this house than inflict any more of these conversations upon my elven ears. You, you can speak. What? Uh, and I know yeah. you've never been down there, but there was a staff in the cellar, and there's a precious stone that belongs on the top of it, a ruby. Do you know where it is? But of course, Mortimer. You asked me to hide it for you. Don't you remember? Uh, Good. I, I must have forgotten about that. Oh, what would you do without me? Yes, Could you I please wonder. just give it to me? I just need it for a second. What? The jewel. Uh, and before you ask, I mean the stone that you put somewhere safe for more... Uh, me. And please don't tell me that you've forgotten. How could I forget that? You said it was very important that no one found the stone. Oh, okay. Now please can I have it back? Why would I give a complete and utter stranger Mortimer's stone? What the hell is wrong with you? But I have... I... I but am I Mortimer. I am Mortimer! Don't... Don't be ridiculous. You're too tall, <laughs> too thin, too hairy. And you have those... those too hairy. things there. Yeah, but I think... No, whatever. I have no desire for this cash. Give it this nonsense. to me now. Give me now. the jewel. Never. Threats will get you nowhere. I'm a karate master. Oh, I doubt that. Mortimer I'm a friend sent of Mortimer. Me. He sent me to fetch something out of the cellar. I have never seen you here before, and I never forget a face. No. Please, it's urgent. I do not know whether I can trust you. I would only give a really good friend of Mortimer's the jewel. That's me. I saved his life. Well, maybe. Really? Hmm. If you are truly a good friend of Mortimer, then you will be able to give me the answer to the following question. Uh... What color is his underwear? It's red, I saw it. Red, 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 red. Wait. How come you know the color of his underwear? Well, I have no eyelids anymore. So how do you think I'm meant to shut my eyes? <laughs> so, what color is his underwear? It's red. Red. He mostly wears red underwear. That's right! Red silk underwear. But yes. I'm still not quite satisfied. So, A cat? what is his cat's name? Um... Moggy? Oh, it's Kinski. It's his cat, maybe. Yeah, obviously. His cat died some while ago. Her gravestone's outside. Her name was Kinski. It was a tomcat. <sighs> the poor thing was always so happy playing with my bandages. Yes, very <sighs> sad, very sad. But hopefully this proves that I am a good friend of old Mortimer, does it not? You have only answered one of my questions. Uh, two? Two, but... Uh, uh, you asked me about his underwear. But why would his underwear be of any interest to uh, me? Oh, come on, don't change the subject. Are you going to give me that jewel now? No, not yet. I have one last question. What did Count Grunschfeld or Pieperbock say to his adjutant Henninger shortly before the Battle of Budleberg? Huh? What? Wrong. No, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I am a trifle unsure about this too. It is a bit <sighs> like a coded question. And do you know the answer? Of course. Mortimer told me. And you uh, haven't forgotten it? I... um... um... no. So, what is the answer? 
Uh, uh, what? Like my father is what he said. He talked about an offer you can refuse. Uh, and, uh, what? I don't Ranfeld know. Ranfeld made yes. Henninger an offer that he couldn't refuse. Really? So what did he offer him? He really made him an offer. <laughs> what did Ranfeld say to Henninger? So it's uh, 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 two, three, four. Two hundred thirty-four, of course. Oh, what? Two hundred and thirty-four. I know all about that. Mortimer told me many times. Two hundred and thirty-four. What? Uh. But why would he say that to whoever? How can anyone who is a good friend of Mortimer not know that? But how? What? 234. Mortimer never told you that? Well, yes. 234? So it turns out that you aren't such a good friend after all, then. If you don't even know anything about THE 234. Oh. Oh! That! You mean... <laughs> That's 234. Yes, exactly. With that thingy? Precisely. I see that you are a good friend of old Mortimer's after all. Of course. Splendid. Now that you've proven that, can you give me the jewel? At last. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Many thanks. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> finally got that. Okay. Now, put it in there. Fits perfectly. And... Yeah, I thought so. And stick it back again <laughs> turn this around nope nope no one more Ah. Excellent. Half is clear. Right. So here's the book. Hmm. This must be the secret book. Oh, it's been written by hand and there are several pictures. There are a few words written in orange ink. That doesn't exist, does it? The artifact of divine fate. This is serious. I should get this book to the Archmage as quick as I can. As long as I don't bump into the sorcerer or his troll, I should manage to make Seastone by midday tomorrow. Hm, shouldn't be a problem. Uh oh. Uh. Ah! Ah! Seriously? Ah, uh, wow, we already got to chapter two, great. I wonder how many chapters are there, throw 20. Okay, so we have some documents and some, some colorful uh, glasses, I think, with some essences inside, 99%, come on. Oh, I already saw a short sequence of that part.
when I played the demo. Why are you staring funny. like that? Never seen a town guard before? No. You... You're a human, aren't you? Me? Yes, uh... You could say that. Never been anything else. Wow. Great. My name is Bartholomew Anton Shieldhand, Royal Town Guard of Seastone. And who are you? Um... Mr. Underhill. Will weather wane, my wheels will brush weather wood, and I want to become a pirate. No, I want to be a mustard. My name is Mr. Underhill. I'm I'm on a secret mission. Underhill. Exactly. So so. Yes. Where, where am I? This lovely seaside resort. Residence of the Archmage and home of the Sea Shanty Singers is Seastone. Seastone? Then I made it! Absolutely, I'd say. And here's me thinking that the orcs were firing grunts at our walls again. I have to see the Archmage. It's urgent. <laughs> then I wish you the best of luck. The guard at the upper gate follows very strict procedures. He won't let you through to the Archmage that easily. Is he even in town? Is the Archmage even in his tower at the moment? I'm not allowed to give out any information on that subject. Those are the regulations. Can you tell me anything about the Archmage? Do you know him personally? Of course I know him. The Seastone Town Guard is also responsible for protecting the Archmage. Why does he need protection if he's as powerful as everyone says? Well, he's not uh, exactly the greatest of warriors. No? No. He's uh, more strange. He thinks about stuff, you know. Strange? Why does he do that? Who knows? Who knows? Uptown? Is that where the Archmage Tower is? What do you mean by Upper Town? Well, the town's divided into the Upper Town and the Lower Town. The Archmage's Tower is, of course, in the Upper Town. And what's in the Lower Town? Taverns, shops, the common people's dwellings. Well, at least they used to live there. Not anymore. And where are they? Where are the town's inhabitants? Gone. Lots of them died when the town was besieged, and most of the survivors then went off with Gustav the Handsome to take revenge. That was rather... less than successful. And how many people are still living here? Not so many anymore. If the Archmage hadn't had his tower here, the town would have probably been abandoned. Sounds pretty sad. But things will get better. Wait until we win the war, and everyone comes back. Well, those that are still alive. Why are you guarding the town? But if then? almost no one lives here, who are you guarding? Oh, I'm not guarding the inhabitants, I'm guarding the town. I'm guarding it like my father did before me and his father before him. But not his father, he was a blacksmith. But his brother-in-law was a town guard, and his father was a baker. Interesting. I have yes. to go. I'll get in to see the Archmage one way or another. Well, I never. I have to get back to my post too. My break's over. So, Mr. Underwood, on a secret mission. Best of luck on your adventure. We'll no doubt bump into each other again. Thanks, Mr. Shieldhand. See you later. Hello, little rabbit. Oh, a fluffy, wuffy little bunny rabbit. Yes. All white and soft and gentle and sweet. And I just want to cuddle it and... Oh, I'm an adventurer now. I must act like one. It, it's a <laughs> rabbit. A white one. <laughs> Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Ah. Not a chance. It won't let itself be caught that easily. And besides, I wouldn't know what to do with the rabbit anyway. I mean, well, you could except just it. love it a bit. Yes. Here, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Uh, Not a chance. I mean. Okay. Cute. Okay. I have to end it for now here. Uh, I don't know if. Why do I always say I don't know if something. Whatever. Uh.
Yes. See you. Bam.